what's going on Yui here for a SOCOM 4 multiplayer video this one's gonna take place on Port Authority and you guys get to take a look at my spawn point and my loadout here rocking the ACR with a suppressor and the uh, KP5 uh, with a suppressor and a front grip and again there's a look at my my armory or or my loadout and suppression in SOCOM is uh, a 10 minute round basically and all hell just breaks loose. You got people running everywhere, I myself half the time don't know where I'm going and I just shoot things in the face, after all that's what you do in shooters, at least I hope so. Uh, maybe if you die a lot maybe that's not what you do, but <laughs> anyways, uh, sarcasm aside here, again just 10 minutes, everyone just, you know, runs all over the place. You run to wherever and you get kills. It's pretty self-explanatory. So with SOCOM 4, basically what I've been doing is, uh, and I've said this before in, in other videos, but uh, I guess what I'll, what I'll say again here is that I've been going through every weapon in this game and trying to mod 5 them. And what I mean by mod 5 is that in SOCOM, basically the way you get attachments on your gun is by using them more. And there's five levels. In each level, you get a new attachment or, or, or perk or whatever. Uh, for example, with this ACR, uh, I believe I started out getting a reflex sight or something like that at mod 1. And then, uh, eventually, I think at mod 3, you get, uh, like, uh, a faster reload. And then at mod 4, you'll eventually uh, get a suppressor, which is what I'm at now. I'm on uh, mod 4 out of 5. As you can tell there on the bottom right-hand part of my screen, the little yellow bar indicates how close I am to, uh, you know, the the next mod. In this case, I'm at mod 4, so once that yellow bar fills all the way up, uh, the more kills I get, uh, then that means I'll be at mod 5. And this doesn't work like Call of Duty. Uh, I mean, I mentioned that you'll get some perks for your guns, but the extent of the perks is really just either extra ammunition or a faster reload. There's nothing like sleight of hand prayer or anything like that. It doesn't work like Call of Duty, which I like, but uh, just to sort of clarify that if you are wondering. Mostly what you're going to get is reflex lights, ACOG scopes, and to me the most coveted thing in SOCOM is a suppressor, uh, especially if you play a classic mode, but I usually like to roll with suppressors no matter what the game mode, and um, for that fact, that's uh, that's why I would mod up a lot of these guns, but uh, nonetheless, you know, that's why I'm going to mod up every gun, just simply something to do. Uh, you know, I think it's fun. I think it's a challenge. It takes a good bit of kills in each mod. Uh, the kills to get to the next mod increases. And, uh, you know, it's just a way to keep the game fresh for me, trying out different guns. And it allows me to sort of uh, really get a view on what guns I really like and what guns I'll appreciate once I do end up um, getting mod 5 on all of them. And I, I know for sure that I'm going to have trouble modding up the LMGs and the snipers. Snipers alone can be kind of tricky to use in this game, mostly because of their uh, shitty scopes. But uh, you know, we'll see. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna worry about the the LMGs and the snipers quite yet. Just trying to focus on the SMGs and the assault rifles, and uh, that's sort of where I want to take uh, my commentary here in, in this video. Uh, the fact that SMGs are quite powerful in this game, uh, I, I think they're as pretty close to real life as it's going to get, though. Uh, simply because SMGs are mostly used to pack a punch up close, but they can also do some damage in medium range. You just don't have the versatility that an assault rifle would have, or the, or the, I guess the, I don't want to say durability, but, um, yeah, actually, you know what, I think versatility is what I wanted to say. I think versatility is the right word, so I, I think SMGs are, are fun to use in this game, and they, they help close range, obviously, with, uh, some tight bullet spreads especially right to the face, uh, to the chrome dome, if you will. Uh, and then obviously from range, they're they're affected, and that's where sort of the uh, assault rifles come in. But uh, typically what I've been doing here when I've been running classes is, uh, for the most part, I've been running SMGs uh, in assault rifles. And basically what I've done, since I enjoy SMGs so much in this game, I've started them as my primary. Uh, and if you don't know, if you're new to SOCOM, in SOCOM 4 there's uh, dual primaries. There's no pistols in this game whatsoever. So you can carry an assault rifle as your primary weapon and a submachine gun as your secondary. Or you can use an assault rifle and a sniper or an LMG and a sniper or a shotgun and a sniper or whatever you want to do. Uh, so the combinations are, are quite endless about, uh, you know, especially when it comes to maps. Uh, the combinations of guns you can use are are quite numerous and it definitely helps you know what maps you're playing it definitely knows definitely knows oh, wow definitely helps I don't know how I got knows out of that one uh, yeah weird I don't know but anyways it definitely helps to know the maps that's what I meant to say 
Uh, it definitely helps to know the maps, uh, and you'll get a better feel when you play more and sort of what guns to best use. Uh, for the most part, I've been rocking an SMG lately as the primary, and then I've been sort of feeling a little naughty. I don't know why. I've been feeling a little naughty, and I've wanted to snipe, so I've been sort of doing that as well. But as far as combinations go, I primarily like to do, uh, you know, the submachine gun SMG and an assault rifle. Uh, and I've really switched it up to an SMG as the first, uh, you know, as my first primary, which is kind of nice and it's fun to use. And usually I just run around and shoot whatever I can and just run like a chicken with my head cut off. So uh, that's sort of the goal even when I play suppression, you know, I just sort of run around, you know. Uh, the Benny Hill music comes in my mind. If you're not sure what that is, just go look it up. Benny Hill theme song. Uh, I would sing it, but I'm afraid I'm going to hurt some ears doing that. And there's really no lyrics to it. It's just a continuous uh, beat. So we'll leave it at that. I'm not American Idol worthy. Uh, you know, I don't think Simon Cowell would appreciate me. I think he would probably say, like, well, <laughs> maybe I won't refrain from doing that impression either. But you get the picture. Anyways, here, here's a spot where I'm going to hold up for, for quite a bit here to uh, pretty much end this gameplay. And as you can tell, we push them back into their spawn. Uh, Lottie freaking die, you know. Uh, <laughs> these guys, uh, you know, they weren't doing a very good job of pushing us back. And one of the most common mistakes I see in this game, and this is this is also uh, a big problem in most shooters out there, is that people just seem to generally not want to move much. And this is what happens. If you're not going to move, you're going to get uh, pushed back, especially uh, with a pretty good team. Uh, and that's what we were able to do. Or we were able to, uh, you know, push them back into spawn and... I was able to play like a douchebag in this warehouse. You're going to see here, there's a quite some... This clip here just showed some foreshadowing. You're going to see me holding up here as I, uh, as I respond. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to go back to that little warehouse and cause some havoc and, and have some fun. Shoot some people, knife some people, you know, the normal stuff. But, uh, you know, that's one, of the biggest, that's one of the biggest problems I see with shooters now these days. People just are content with sitting back in the spawn and sniping. And, well, you know, if you're running too types of weapons like an SMG or an assault rifle, I'm pretty sure someone's going to get you, <laughs> you know. Uh, it's kind of hard to camp, let's put it that way, unless you want to use a Claymore or a PMN mine, and if that's the case, and I will be personally finding you at your doorstep and punching you in the face because I hate people to do that. Not really, I'm kidding, obviously, but as you can see, they're, they're held up in here like a brothel house, and I'm just kind of coming through and uh, shooting them up. And I'm not sure why I said brothel house, but... And if you don't know what Brothel House is, um, shame on you, you should know. You know, the local whorehouse, if you will. Again, not too sure where I'm going with this, but just go with me here. Go with the flow. <laughs> and uh, their spawn here is on the right and to the left, and I'm sort of uh, stuck in Fuckville right now, if you will. And I swore, I know. Whatever. I don't care. I do it every once in a while, you know. And then that guy falls flat on his face. Kind of funny to watch, not going to lie, and I'm... <laughs> I look like I want to hold his hand. I don't know. Who knows? But anyways, this uh, this gameplay is wrapping up. Aside from my stupid jokes, my stupid rants, uh, one thing to take away from this video is to sort of be versatile with your gun selection, uh, especially in any respawn type of game mode. Uh, you want to sort of be prepared for all situations. Um, and that goes for classic mode as well. And it depends on the map. It depends on the people you're playing, if they're dumb or smart. Um, you know, I'm not going to lie, it depends on that, but uh, for the most part, if you know your maps, you'll know sort of what works, and, uh, you know, once you use the weapons more, you'll you'll figure out what you like. But for the most part, I've been running SMG as my primary, and then either a sniper and assault rifle as the backup weapon, just because SMGs are, are actually quite powerful in this game. Um, I don't necessarily think they should be patched, but, uh, you know, I, I like where they're at, and I just think they're fun to use, and I like running and gunning primarily, so... Uh, that's one of my, uh, you know, thoughts behind using SMGs. And then, obviously, for long-range assault rifles. But, like I said, uh, it's it's great to be versatile and, new, and use all the numerous guns in this game. Uh, I, myself, have found some fun in sniping in this game, even though it can be tricky at times. Um, so, that's about it. We're coming up on the end of the gameplay here. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video. Plenty more SOCOM coverage are going to be coming down the road here. Going to be covering SOCOM, I would think, for a while. Uh, I'm enjoying it. I really am. SOCOM, uh, you know, was... Uh, well, SOCOM 3, I'll back up and say SOCOM 3 was my uh, first online multiplayer game. So, uh, you know, SOCOM is, is pretty important to me. It's my roots, if you will. Everyone sort of has their roots. Um, 
I'm not old enough to say that Pac-Man is my roots. Believe me, I'm not that old, but I am getting old. <laughs> but, yeah, uh, I guess back on track here. SOCOM is my roots, and uh, I would expect that uh, I'll be playing this for the majority of the summer. So, uh, if you guys want to see some more footage related to SOCOM 4 or any other crazy shenanigans, come on over check me out on my channel. Um... That's about all I have. We're going to win this one here. Looks like about a, we get about 196 or so kills here to end this off. And this is one of the fun things about SOCOM. Once the round's over, you can still sort of run around like crazy and then get a couple knife kills here. Here's one. The miss. Whoops. <laughs> and then I finally get him. Uh, so that's it, guys. Again, hopefully you enjoyed. Final score, this is going to be 32-7. and seven. Again, playing on the map Port Authority, Suppression Game Mode. That's all I have for now. You guys have a good one. Take it easy. Hey guys, we now have our own website. Actually, we've always had our own website, but why not follow us on there? There you'll find all our videos conveniently sorted into playlists by game, as well as videos from many other directors that are part of our NGT network.